Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose and in this video we will be seeing cascading failure which is from basics of system design. It will be useful for you if you already know about failover and I will share the link for this in the description below. You can go there and watch it. Now let's see a scenario. Uh, let's assume that we are uh, given a setup where you have a proxy server and the proxy server is uh, taking requests from the users from one side and then uh, there are three servers SA, SB and SC. All these are uh, kind of primary servers which are serving the request from the users. So the proxy server is actually relaying the user request to these uh, three servers. Let's assume that each of the server's capacity is equals to 100, right? And currently uh, they all are running at a load equals to 90. Now let's say that you want to uh, consider the case of a failover. That means if a server crashes, then you want to assign its request to be served by a secondary server. That is a backup server, right? Now, if we take the condition of a mutual takeover in case of a failover, right? If you don't know the term, you can watch my video on failover. Otherwise, you can simply assume that we are taking a hash map where the key is a primary server and the value is actually the secondary server assigned for the primary server. This means that when I write SA and SC as the value, this means for primary server SA, if SA fails somehow, then all its requests will be routed to SC, which is the secondary backup server of SA, right? And similarly, for SB, the secondary server is SA and for SC, it is SB. So I have already drawn, uh, drawn dotted lines to show like uh, for each of the server who are the backup server simply, right? Now let's consider the scenario that SC has crashed. Now if server SC has crashed then it will not be able to serve any request and all its request will be routed to its uh, secondary server assigned which is you can check the table and it is SB right. So if all these uh, requests are routed to SB then the load will get added isn't it. So the load if it was 90 at SC then this load will be transferred to SB and the load equivalent will be 180 but we had already assumed uh, that the maximum server capacity is 100. Now if we are exceeding 100 then possibly SB will also crash and if SB has crashed then all these loads will be transferred to SA which is 180 and this will become 270 and therefore SA might also crash. Therefore you see that uh, by crashing only one server we are crashing all the servers which were in this entire setup isn't it? So this is kind of a domino effect where you where just a single event is uh, triggering the downfall for every server right this is nothing but cascading failure now in simple terms if we talk about what is a cascading failure if one system fails which leads to a domino effect of increasing failures due to a positive feedback mechanism is called a cascading failure why did i say a positive feedback mechanism in this case it is kind of a loop right so it has to be a dependency loop where the uh, servers are depending on each other and forming a loop and uh, positive because if one of the server crashes then it, it is transferring its load positively that means the load gets added to the secondary server therefore I said positive. So feedback mechanism is kind of a loop and positive because it is continuously adding on the load to the other servers. Therefore, if you have this kind of setup, then definitely you might fall into a cascading failure scenario. Now, some of the precautions which you can take is uh, you can slow down the request when the server overloads just to uh, take precaution that it doesn't load beyond the limit and hence crashes. Second thing you can do is you can run in a degraded mode when you, uh, your server is overloaded because maybe many of the animations are unnecessary and uh, are not important for doing the job. So maybe you can stop animations and uh, things like that which actually doesn't help uh, I mean users to serve their request and then if you have got deadlocks uh, I mean dependency deadlock or resource de uh, deadlock something like that then simply uh, restarting the server can actually fix that uh, scenario because if a deadlock happens and the system has frozen then further incoming request will actually add on to the load and the request will never be served. Therefore, at some point of time, it is definitely going to crash. 
so before that you can take a precaution and actually restart your server are you ready to take your programming skills to the next level well you are at the right place welcome to our data structures and algorithms live interview training program interview dose get ready to dive deep into the world of efficient coding and problem solving in interview dose you will get a solid understanding of key data structures such as array stack queue heap trees and along with that you will also master powerful algorithms based on maths geometry graph and dynamic programming what sets interview dose apart from other courses is the live interactive format you won't just be watching the pre-recorded sessions but you will join me along with other passionate learners in real time where we will be covering the concepts together imagine having the opportunity to ask questions engage in discussion and collaborate with your fellow learners it's a supportive community where we all grow together but it doesn't stop there we will dive into hands-on coding exercises solving real world problems and you will get to work with the interview assignments that will showcase your new found expertise taking interview dose has already been a game changer for a lot of students and working professionals it didn't just help them to improve their coding skills but also boosted their confidence for tackling complex problems the live interactive sessions make all the difference unlock your coding potential by taking the first step forward contact us on whatsapp for more details so i hope you got an idea about cascading failure if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more search system design videos see you guys in the next video thank you